Okay. Hi, I'm Marty Duda. Welcome to the 13th floor. And today we're thrilled to have Jordy Lane with us, direct from Sydney. You just got off the plane, right? Yeah. Yep. How you doing? <laughs> Good to meet you. You too. I was admiring your hat, and mm. you, you told me your hat has a name. Well, the brand name, it's an Akubra. It's called The Adventurer. The Adventurer. And the lady in the shop, she just totally, she's like, you look like the adventurous type. This just suits you so well. She placed it on my head in this special way and refitted it. And yeah, she totally uh, got the sale out of me pretty quick. But I hadn't had a hat for a long time. Uh -huh. I'm, like I'm a big hat person and I lost a hat in Canada um, about two years ago. And I've just been wearing little cheap things ever since. Like so mine. <laughs> No, I'm not. I think mine was about five bucks somewhere. I'm not, no, yeah. that's got a great... Uh, well, you do get attached to them, don't you? And then you hate them. And then totally. They disappear somewhere. And then well, they get attached to you yeah. without yeah. really wanting to. Anyway, uh, we should <laughs> talk about some music while we're here. You're going to play a couple of songs for us. You're playing yeah. down at the Tuning Fork tomorrow night, and we're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And you have another musician with you, Claire Reynolds, correct? Yeah. So maybe you can yep. tell us a little bit about Claire before we uh, hear the two of you sing. Yeah. Uh, Claire is originally from Noosa on the Sunshine Coast in up, up the top of Queensland there and uh, both of us are based in the US now right and yeah we started writing a few songs together a couple of years ago and then started doing a few festivals together and now that's kind of our main thing traveling as a duo so mm -hmm. this is our first time in New Zealand playing as together, a duo though yeah. yeah because you've been here before yeah but, a couple of times yeah. but uh, so it's nice to have someone else on stage Absolutely. with me. Absolutely, yeah. And how is it living in the States? It's great. It's very different to here, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just had a parking inspector say, oh, don't worry, I won't mark your car for another 15 minutes because you seem like a nice guy. That, yeah. that wouldn't that, happen in LA, would it? They would no. just shoot you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely it will throw you up against the car and cuff you or something like that. All right. Well, anyway, let's talk about the song that you're gonna, we're going to hear you oh, okay. first. It's called Lost in You, correct? Yeah. And it, what album is it from? It's from our latest release, which is an EP. It's just a five track we did in Nashville, Tennessee. All oh, right. With a great producer named Skylar Wilson, who's worked with a whole bunch of people that I love, like Justin Towns Earl. And I've what? noticed there's been a, quite a few Australian artists who have gone to Nashville to record. Is yeah. That, is that I, a thing? Is there like a direct tunnel? Well, you know, I think there is one thing that it's actually kind of financially more viable, like yeah, in some ways, too, yeah. because you've got so many people there, so many studios, so many great producers that I guess they're all fighting for a job and, yeah. and charging cheaper rates. But it's also like, you know, the records that I love, uh, a lot of them come out of Nashville, so yeah. you want to go and work with those people. So. All right, so tell me a little bit about this song, Lost in You. Uh, it, it surfaced out of my mind like a long time ago, like the first few verses, and then I had a rough demo of it and showed it to the producer and he really liked it, so I had to actually kind of finish the song properly and add a bit of a bridge to it and things like that. But uh, it originated when I ran out of petrol on the wrong side of the river, or <laughs> the, the rich side of the river right. in Melbourne, and I was like horrified to have to try and get those guys to help push my car out of the way of all these rich cars <laughs> ramming up behind me. So that was where the song was born. Cool. All right. Let's give it a listen. This is Lost in You, Jordy Lane and Claire Reynolds. Wish your phone would stop ringing So I could start singing and Dream about kissing you Spent 17 long nights and days Without a wink of sleep I got fur on my 
teeth I can't tell what's make believe or true So I send out a search party Cause baby I got lost in you Well I broke down on the rich side of town No choice but to sit and stew I watched out my window at women in haste Thousand dollar coats round their sides for a waist They were tripping over one another's shoes I'd wear my soul thin but I'd still be lost in you collaboration between you and Claire why are you, what is it that bring, draws the two of you together musically yeah um, well just sometimes uh, every so often well not very often you find two voices that fit together and that you know uh, actually kind of go up and down together and you know the frequencies work together right. um, so they become kind of like one big voice together. Yeah. I, I did, we just had a, a husband-wife duo from South Carolina called Shovels and Rope here. <laughs> Our favorite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and and Love I them. and when I was watching them play at the Tuning Fork last week, you could see why it is that they sing together. You know, mm -hmm. they're kind of looking at each other and they're following each other, but kind of anticipating as well. Is that what happens? Yeah, definitely. And uh, it's funny you said like because we we saw Shovels and Rope. Uh, Oh, about three years ago at Americana Fest in Nashville and fell in love with them then and, and, and didn't really hear much about them for a little while until this last six months, say, and we got to see them back in Melbourne when we like just got off the plane from the US and that's just kind of pumped us up for this yeah. tour. So, oh, great. Um, yeah, they're, they're a, like a real inspiration to anybody out there, I think, but especially you know, male and female duo trying to like feed off each other in a spontaneous way. Yeah, they're mm. amazing. 
Cool. All right. So you got one more song for us before you head off. Yeah. Uh, it's called Black Diamond. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about that one? Uh, it's like a, a folk tale that was um, born out of being on the road and I rocked up at a hotel in, uh, it's sort of, it's just below Sydney near a place called Wollongong and the town is called Bulleye and it was an old coal mining town where they had a terrible disaster and everyone died down in the mine except this one boy and, and, and so I found that out from the sound guy and then I just kept taking this story further and further and, but it was a weird Thing where when we started to play it live people started to tell us their real factual knowledge of this story and then that that uh, sort of informed the song to right. evolve in different ways so it's like this fact versus fiction and going back and forward so it's kind of a living breathing song still huh? yeah kind of yeah and and we've only recorded it on a live album we've actually done it in the studio five times but the song keeps evolving and it just doesn't seem right yet okay. so we're hopefully going to record it put it out later this year or cool. next year all right yeah. well thanks for coming by and, and playing the songs and having a chat Pleasure. i urge everyone to come down to tuning fork and see you guys and yeah you know we'll come back again sometime soon yeah Thank thanks you. cheers Dark.